Hey guys, so um, I played only for a couple of days now, but um, kind of pretty pretty extensively tested this um, this build order, and uh, it's the fastest. Well, what I've tested, I'm, what I'm gonna call this is the you know Keshik rush, just as fast as you can getting Keshik out. Um, then what you kind of want to do after that is up to you. Uh, you don't have to follow this completely, but if you're trying to get the fastest Keshik production out as you can, um, these are definitely the first, the steps all the way up to the stable, up to the first Keshik production is definitely you should be following. So um, just to break down the, the pre-move order, um, once we start, we're going to grab our TC, move it, and then select all of our bills and start chopping a tree. Or not, there we go. And that one really bad. Yeah, there's a sheep. Let's come back over here. Uh, I like to put them onto a control group. So try to uh, save a little bit of face. There we go. Make sure we're selected onto there, okay. Um, oh. I do like using this uh, falcon, just kind of as you saw there. If I'm about to make a turn or something, it always sucks like in the afterwards if you see in your replay that you just missed some sheep. Um, so I do like being able to drop this at corners when I turn. The, the respawn is faster now, um, so, or the refresh, so or cooldown is faster, so it's nice that it uh, you can do that. Um, this on the first build part here, um, a big thing is to make sure your your first build just chop fifty wood. Um, I like to pre-select my my Egypt group there while they're in that position. Um, you don't have to per se. Don't think there's any more sheep in this corner. This is where that hawk ability is really nice. Okay, there we go. And then after you drop that 50, get that 50 wood, um, we're sending them over to this sheep and collecting sheep. New villagers are gathered onto sheep. Our villager that finishes the evil goes to, to gold. And then once we have seven villagers on food, we put one villager onto onto gold, then we'll have seven, two, and then we go up to nine villagers on food. And then from there, we go villagers onto wood. I like to throw my first villager that I take out here on wood onto the already chopped tree. Um, it helps in the gather rate um, that you don't have to stop and like pick up more um, wood. You can just keep chopping, which is nice. We should be able to age up now. Just barely short. So we've got silver tree. There we go. Age up was a little late, but not end of the world. Let's come here. Let's come back. And then we're going to go scout our opponent's base. So that's kind of the big thing I also think is to make sure you are um, able to scout your opponent. Let's get it on here. Um, right around this timing, you need to go scouting because you need to see what they're up to. Um, for breaking this down over here, what we're doing is um, to the villagers. Oops, to the villagers. So really sloppy so far, but two of the villagers on the landmark are going to go on to um, food collection. One is going to gold, and one is going to wood. And this villager that I've got, Hakid over here, he is going to go drop and build me a stable. Make sure to keep your villager production going. Um, and then after your four villagers on wood, put all your villagers on to food. You're going to need the food production to um, keep up with your opponent. And he is Ottoman, so he's got a good age of timing. Like, it's a really good age of timing. 
But from here, this is kind of where the, the, the fast catch it kind of ends in terms of what you want to do. Uh, whoops, let's get back under here. Oof, we're close on the turn ins. Um, try not to uh, shirk your villager production. So, a little bit late here. Um, right now, we have. Um, Um, TC, a silver treat over there. They drop off here. I want him to build me a range. So this is kind of where the build, builds can vary um, significantly. You get your two Keshiks out. I try to get this, um, this range dropped. And then from here, this is kind of where, we'll just pause real quick. From here, this is where the build kind of varies. So... Right now I have stable archery range. I have a scout being queued up immediately after my Keshik. And my Khan is scouting his base. Keshiks are on the way. So from here you can do a bunch of different things. You have the silver tree, so you can start trading. You can trade some villages, transition on the wood, and start focusing on getting trade boom up and you only use two harass there. If you want to commit, which is kind of what I'm trying to do with this build, you don't have to build that range. You can go straight into traders. But what um to really protect this Keshik. Um, Mangata are really good for that, and it's um, uh, just my playstyle. And the other, the other thing is you um, might start seeing in the meta when people play Mongols to start dropping early barracks and having spearmen ready. So you're going to raid, raid where you can, take what you can, but if you have Mangata out shortly after, it's going to help a whole bunch. But now what I like to do after this um, range is up, all my wood is dedicated to um, the transition here, come over here, okay, and then you guys can see that this timing is you can drop another Keshik or you can drop a double production on your, on your Mangadai. One thing I'd like to point out is when you do do the build a little bit cleaner, and you come up to 420 seconds. Um, I do feel like uh, you can easily produce. Okay. Sorry, just trying to um, just kind of keep going the build here a little bit. If you're and so here's another thing: if your gold starts getting idle, just uh, start rallying uh, horsemen over. You can start doing that. Also, another uh, scout never hurts. And then totally up to you again. I feel like trade boom is the good move to do after this. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole build here. We'll stop build, uh, playing here at this point. Um, we will surrender real quick. And uh, we'll go over this one more time in the caster mode just to go over the, the key notes again. And just kind of get a quick refresh and make sure kind of understand the build order. Um, this is not a perfect example of it. You can actually get a better timing. Um, I've been getting consistently Keshiks at 4 minutes 20 seconds. Um, with little mistakes and things like that, you're, you're dropping 430. In worst case, you're dropping 445, your your Keshik production. So um, it's totally um, possible to get Keshik produced at 420 seconds, which is um, 4 minutes 20 seconds, which is really nice. It's a good timing to stop. Um, some of some TC, some TCs you're not gonna really stop, like say like English just TC, but you can get those Keshiks out and you can save trade behind it. So that's why it's really important that you get the the your scouts out, your your con over here, and seeing what they're doing, so you know what to do with your Keshiks. Um, again, this is just a fast send all my villagers to wood. Wonder Ubu building uh, villages, rallying villages on the sheep. 
I've now also grouped these villagers into their separate control group. We drop off 50 wood and we're killing this sheep. Villager is actually going to try to rally. It should rally into one of these. Oh, yeah, there we go. Into a different sheep. Just for more efficiency. Pick up this sheep real close to our base. We're going to send it over. Villager over on the gold. Uh, we'll switch this. So now we're five on food. And it should say... Oh, whoops. I'm reading the wrong one. Six on food and one on gold. Okay, and now we have our seventh villager on food, and from here we should, yep, there you, you see the rally point is switched over onto gold. I mean, this is AI, so you can't really um, do much with this. Um, it looks like they're aging up, though. Uh, they get a fast age up time. They get nearly as fast as ours, and Mongo age up is this this age up is about as fast as you can get with the Mongo age up is this version of the nine two. Now our um, rally point after the two on gold is back onto food, and we'll go up to nine on food. Again, I have different matches where the, the timing on it was a little bit cleaner, um, but you'll get a feel for it. Practice it a few times, try to hit your 420 timing, um, practice it a few times, and then just take it live and test it out. Um, you won't notice your timing when you're playing, like you won't see what it is usually because you're too busy playing but you can always check it out um, afterwards and see if there's little um, improvements getting done there. So from here we're going to rally our villagers onto wood. We have 9 on food, 2 on gold. Sometimes you can go up to 10th on food but I find that it's not necessary and it slows down your archery range drop if you choose to do so. It's nice having two military infrastructures up and ready to go while you do your traders. The traders cost less wood and since you don't have a lot of villagers on wood um, this this kind of brief time in the beginning where you can sacrifice that is is pretty big. Okay, so he's tapping up with four bills. We're just scouting with a con, and this is the this is kind of the the transition here. Send him to a different tree. Um, and I probably shouldn't send. So I usually send him to a different tree, but then I I rally all of them here. A little bit of mistake. A little bit late on our time, as well for age up and that's because of just little little errors with not moving our villagers uh, right onto that um, wood line as fast as possible. That does definitely affect. One nice and, and one nice thing about this is that uh, we do have uh, the Ubu on this spawn is close. Sometimes with a little bit further walking time to gold or the Ubu these things affect your age up time as well. Um, so we're gonna get one more villager onto wood. Uh, we're gonna mess up our sheep for here and then from here our TC should rally back onto food and this is really important this this switch I've missed it a couple times already in ranked matches um, this is an important switch because if you don't do this you will not have enough food for a Keshik on um, uh, age up and uh, the, half the reason for this build is for the fastest um, you can get a, a Keshik so it's really important that that Keshik comes out um, right, we, as soon as you can because Every, every every second that your catch is not over the rating is um, can definitely set you behind. Um, so this one bill we pulled from wood is goes in to build a stable and is going to go back onto wood. And then these villages on the landmark, two of them are going to go to food, one is going to go to gold, and one is going to go to um, wood. So two food, one wood, one gold. And we'll just slow it down real quick. This, this one's going to gold, this one's going to wood, and these two are going to food. So that's the split. And you can send more on the gold, but it's really not necessary. You'll see once, you know, this Keshik is up, Keshik is up. And the extra gold helps for the, the later on productions. But um, kind of a big thing I find in the transition here is really just to go heavy onto the Mangadai because these three... These three on gold will be enough to hold a steady Mangadai production. So once you drop a Keshik, maybe a second, um, maybe look to make horsemen out of your stable, Make look to make scouts, and that'll help a bunch. Um, we'll go back up to full time. Uh, villagers still growling on the food, and right now, currently with 11 villagers on food, we just now have enough income to sustain one of the stable, uh, one stable or one archery range in terms of Mangadai, and our TC producing units constantly. Um, right now we can do it with horsemen, no problem. 
um, which is good. Um, and with one pair of Keshek out there fighting, maybe that's a good play. So we still got to refine kind of how, you know, where you go from here. You could have, instead of dropping this archery range, you can immediately start trading and make your opponent come to you. So these are the different little options you can do. But to help protect these Keshek and to make your raiding more successful, we're building a range immediately. And um, we are building a scout immediately after this. You usually use, you use don't have enough gold for a Keshek. So dropping this, um, and, and we drop a we drop a trader here because in some builds sometimes I drop a blacksmith here, but I feel like it's a little bit too greedy. It's better to drop a um, trader first, but dropping a trader affects our gold income, and it makes it uh, make it sit so we have to wait a little bit to get our our manga die out. Actually, gold was fun. It was um it was our food that was a little bit behind. Which makes sense because we're a little bit behind on the age up and everything, so we're a little bit, a little bit late. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the build order, guys. And here, Kashyyyks are heading over. We're starting to raid over here on this other side. Your Mangadai, our double production, our next double production is a Mangadai. What they're going to build is Spearmen, so if you can protect your, your Kashyyyks with Mangadai, you should be free to kind of raid. And these extra scouts are really big. You can see right now we're floating at 220 food, 90 wood 58 gold so from here we can go straight into traders into silver tree and this supplemental income should be able to be enough to pump out manga die and um and it should be enough that um you know after pumping out manga die we can uh, we can also be pumping out horsemen so right now with our food production um we actually need two more vills on food and with two more bills on food, we have enough to constantly produce out of here while we're aging up and while we're doing other things or, you know, while we're pressuring. So it's a very all-in style. So you could do that uh, with two more bills on here, maybe three more, and then start putting bills onto wood. It just kind of depends on your opponent and what you guys kind of see fit um, and how you react. So um, this is just the fastest way to get Keshiks, double produce, then out on the field, and then just a good way to really keep those resources used up and spent and that that second early scout is going to be super helpful and being able to keep tabs with your con where's his food where's his stone where's his gold where's his wood you know if you get two two scouts you almost got them fully enclosed as base um you can go for another scout as well and it, you know the keshex as long as you have good micro with keshex and mangadai they should be able to stay alive and keep your opponent kind of busy while you kind of are putting scouts out and scouting um another thing about this build is because you have so many bills on food you will have to pull vills right around the seven, eight minute mark. You need to be pulling it over onto a different pocket resource. Otherwise, you're going to have a really rough um, pasture transition or food transition. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, hope it goes well.